How's it going, sports fans? And welcome back to Southpaw Sports. Today we have the final part, part four of this NFL Pro Set opening. If you've missed the first three parts, you can go check them out. They are already uploaded and ready to go. In the background today, we have featured Barry Sanders. Obviously, all three of these, if you've seen the first three parts, we've pulled one in, I believe, each part. If not, potentially two of them were from part one. I can't remember if it was one from each part. So maybe we'll get a fourth one here and complete the little, little set there. Definitely my favorite card that we've pulled so far, considering this is a set that is very overprinted. Not worth much unless you get very, very specific cards in mint condition. But I do enjoy some Barry Sanders Rookie of the Year cards nevertheless. So without further ado, we will crack right back into these last packs of this 1990 Pro Set. We got Randall Cunningham, Mohamed Elawanabi, Joe Bugle, Right, that's this one card. Buck Buchanan. Dave Krieg. Derek Thomas. Tom Raffin. Don Mitchkowski. Art Shell. Mark Clayton. That's just one card as well. If you didn't uh, see the first couple parts too, you wouldn't know yet that uh, these packs get very sticky. And there's a lot of flipping going on, so I like to double check to make sure I don't miss anything when we're doing it. There we got Roger Craig, Henry Ellard, Joey Browner, first Viking. And we're out the first pack there with Ricky Natil and a Houston Stadium. Didn't get one of those in the last one. As always, we'll be setting any Vikings, uh, Super Bowl cards, and the hits over there. Everything else goes into the base pile there to get boxed up and stored away for something later. We have Harry Galbraith, Phil Sims, Andre Risen, Christian Okoye, Ron Holmes, Bobby Brister, Phil Moss, Perry Kemp, Ernest Givens, Urban Randall, John Taylor, Johnny Rembrandt, Joe Riggs, Mike Singletary, and a two-lane stadium, New Orleans. I don't know if this is just me or if this is something that anyone else knows. All, but I feel like the card prior to the last card there, the second to last card, this is the one prior to the Super Bowl, is like about half the time. I feel like we've been getting Bears players from those packs. I don't know if that's something that's happened on purpose or whether it's just happened enough where my brain thinks that that's what's going on. But I might have to look back at some of this stuff and see if I can figure that one out. You got a Jacob Green, Simon Fletcher. Joe Bugle, Percy Snow, Rodney Holman, Shane Conlon, Gary Zimmerman, Viking, Johnny Hector, Norm Johnson, Andre Waters, Pierce Holt, Reggie Roby, Bruce Wilkinson, Bud Carson, in the Orange Bowl, Miami. So obviously it was not a bear that time. So things just happened a couple a couple of times and I'm just starting to associate that second to last card with Bears players because of that. But nevertheless, I thought that was kind of funny there. Joe Montana, I'll put him over here. Brad Edelman. Crawford Care. Anthony Thomas, Webster Slaughter, Lee Williams, Sean Collins, JoJo Townsell, Byron Millard, William White, Jesse Sapulo, Albert Lewis, Mervyn Fernandez, Tyrone Brexton, and another Tulane New Orleans.
I'm sure it'll be at least a week or so until this video makes it up onto the channel, just with everything else that I have planned. But as I'm recording this here just a few hours ago, uh, Matt Stafford was traded from the Lions to the Rams for a handful of picks plus Jared Goff. So I think that the Lions definitely got a good haul from that and hopefully for the Rams that they got a quarterback they can trust there. But uh, if that's uh, truly happened here, as long as I don't upload this one tonight randomly or anything, go ahead and let me know what you thought of that trade down below as well as what uh, other trades you could see potentially happening. That one was not on my radar. I thought for sure Stafford would end up with either the Colts or the Broncos, but it was definitely a ballsy trade by the Rams, and I think it'll pay off for them. So we have Eddie Brown, Steve Atwar, Dean Baisuki, Tom Landry, David Trebo, Ray Donaldson, Tom Newberry, Bruce Coase Choslett, Joe Nash, Morton Anderson, Harris Barton, Howie Long, Greg Townsend, Dan Reeves, and a Rice Stadium Houston. Speaking of Houston, that's going to be the one big one to watch in this football offseason. At least once the Super Bowl is over with, is to see uh, what happens to the Houston Texans as a general organization, but especially Deshaun Watson, see if he truly does end, end up getting traded like he wants. Otherwise, uh, potentially he may either sit out or sit in. So we'll have to watch that one pretty carefully. But we got a Deion Sanders, David Meggett, Crawford Care, Franco Harris. Like that card, I'll stick it over there too. Boomer Asiason. Maybe that's how you'd say that one. Keith Willis, Charles Haley, Jim Wilkes, Ernest Givens, Mark Carrier, Carl Lee, Mike Wilcher, Gerald Riggs, Paul Farron, and a Pasadena Rose Bell. J.T. Smith, Miriam Butts, another guy that I enjoy keeping his cards separate there just because of, I love the fact that there are people who do collect them just because of his name, and it is a wonderful name for a NFL player there. We got Merrill Hogue, Dalton Hilliard, Ron Morris, Buddy Ryan, Sam Weichie, Frank Warren, Lorenzo White, Mark Carrier, Another Carly, Bruce Matthews, Mike Merriweather, big Vikings pack there, a Michael Kofer, and a Tampa Stadium. We've got a Joe Montana, Brad Edelman, Joe Bugle, Tom Landry, Webster Slaughter, Rufus Porter, Willie Flipper Anderson, that one's definitely two cards, Jojo Townsend, Byron Milliard, William White, Pete Hollihan, Jackie Slater, Mervin Fernandez, Dan Reeves, and a Superdome New Orleans. This pack is very, very sealed, did not rip down that, uh, go on that seam there. Randall Cunningham, Muhammad Elwanabi, Ken Norton, 
Lindy Infante, Dave Krieg, Derek Thomas, Tom Raffin, yeah, a Don Michkowski, Chuck Knox, Mark Clayton, Roger Craig, Greg Cragen, Willie Galt, Eric Metcalf, and a Rose Bowl Pasadena. That pack makes it drift much easier. Don't like butchering the packs like that last one, especially on newer cards, but roughly these are old packs anyway and don't really matter that much. Got a Louis Oliver, Dan Henning, Ron Meyer, Chris Dolman, Viking, Dave Krieg, Rufus Porter, Harry Hamilton, Jojo Townsell, Bo Jackson, Mark Rippin, Brandy Kosar, Andre Reed, Wade Wilson Viking, Richard Dent, and a Orange Bowl Miami. Got the Colts and the Jets featured on that one. Very interesting card there. Obviously, Jets not very good right now, but obviously they were for that game, good for them. And hopefully you're starting this next year once they get some new draft picks in there, including a more than likely new quarterback. We'll get to see them kind of rebuild here the next couple of years and uh, hopefully come back to relevance because I don't like seeing one team too bad for too long. Makes things a little boring, predictable. It's fun to see teams like the Browns this year finally pick it up a notch and really kind of upset some teams, including the Steelers twice. We got a Fred Marion, Raul Allegre, Dean Biasuki, Percy Snow, Don Griffin, Chuck Knoll, Charles Haley, Ed West, Jeff Bryant, Vinny Testaverde, Irv Pankey, Darrell Edmonds, Jim Lachey, Jerry Ball, and a Superdome New Orleans. Looks like we got about five packs left back there, and then we're finally through all 72 packs, I believe it was, in total of this NFL Pro set. If you've watched any or all of it, I definitely appreciate it. I know this is not the most exciting set. It's more, honestly, for me, I think, when you guys just taking a look at these older cards, I definitely enjoy them, and I hope you do too. We have a Paul Tagaliabu. Tag That's one I know I don't think we've come across yet. Commissioner. Quite the last name. You have to look up how to say his name. <laughs> Eric Sievers. Fancy Glenn. Jim Jeffcoat. Rich Camarillo. Mark Kelso. Eric Allen, Paul Gruber, Johnny Hector, Bud Carson, Martin Anderson, Harris Barton, Greg Bell, Keith Millard, another Viking, a Jim Covert, and a Stanford Sam. Very nice. All right, we got six packs left. I was, I was close. Eddie Brown, Carl Banks, Crawford Kerr, Anthony Thompson, Kent Hull, Greg Lloyd, Icky Woods, a Ken O'Brien, Dean Steinkuller, Ricky Sanders, Eric Williams, Mike Wilcher, Daryl Grant, Michael Kofer, and a Rose Bowl Pasadena. That's another random question for you guys to answer down in the comments if you want to. 
uh, if there's a show that you watch either on Netflix or Hulu or any other streaming services right now that you guys are really into, what's one that like recently released either the show or a new season? Bring it up just because I spent a good portion of the day today since I was off of work. I binge watched the third season of Disenchantment on Netflix. Actually, enjoy the show. It's kind of kind of kooky. Nothing too crazy or out there. Just a good kind of sit down and think about nothing show. But I definitely enjoy it. So let me know any uh, shows that you guys have been watching that you'd suggest there. Because I'm definitely going to need a new one here. Because the only other show I'm watching through is I'm still watching through Criminal Minds. And once I get through that, I don't really have a next show lined up here. So let me know some suggestions. We got Harry Galbraith. Billy Joe Tolliver, John Hand, Jim Mora, Scott Radekic, Mike Munchak, Paul Gruber, Don Majkowski, Mike Ditka, William White, Jesse Sapulo, Larry Kelm, Anthony Carter, a Neil Anderson, and a Coliseum in Los Angeles. This one's not really ripping. There we go. On the seam either. Some of the glue, I think, at the very top of those packages on some of these is very, very sealed at, at this point in time after being in there so, for so long. We have Ernie Jones. Raul Allegre, Blaine Bickett, Thurman Thomas, Don Griffin, Carnal Lake, John Alt, Ricky Jackson, Eugene Robinson, Finney Testaverde, another Herschel Walker, Howie Long, Neil Smith, Troy Aikman, quarterback. We have a Tulane New Orleans. So this one seems like it was a little miscut there. Yeah, it definitely looks like it was. It's always interesting whenever you see that too, just because it gives you a new variation on the card that, like, I know for sure we have at least one of those, but. I think the other one was perfectly aligned, so this gives you kind of a, almost like a whole new card, even though it's the same things. Something a little different to look at. We got three packs left here, including this one. Let's see if we get that fourth Barry Sanders card there, if we get one in every part. We got a Louis Oliver. Another Miriam Butts. Bill Brooks. Chris Dolman. Carl Mecklenburg, Mike Johnson, Jason Buck, Al Toon, Ray Childress, Eric Martin, Alvin Walton, Frank Minifield, another Studwell, a Neil Anderson, and a Tampa. Let's finish it out here strong in these last two packs. Hopefully we get either one new player we have not gotten yet or something real fun just to send things out right. We have a Rich Carmillo, Sam Mills, Jack Pardee, Thurman Thomas, John Elliott, Keith Jackson, Tony Casillas, Perry Kemp, Marv Levy, Hartley Dykes, Michael Carter, Jerry Gray, Steve Smith, Dane Gash, and a Orange Bowl Miami. All right, last pack. Last shot at a Barry Sanders or one of these other cards that's have not seen yet. I know there are certain cards from the set that weren't in the actual set. They're in certain 
inserts or events as well as some of them just are a little there are a couple more rare cards as well but we have a Earl Farrell Brad Elman Jack Party Andrea Ware Cornelius Bennett Max Montoya Tom Newberry Troy Benson, Joe Nash, Vincent Brown, George Seifert, Larry Kelm, Greg Townsend. <laughs> That's funny. There's a Barry Sanders, but not the same one that we had pulled before. And I think we have, I think we did get one of these ones too in either part one or two, but is not another one of those ones. But that's funny that at least we did get one more. So he's the final player we get there and a two lane stadium. Definitely a Barry Sanders box. Both boxes were, as we got, I feel like a couple of him as our bigger name player that might hold a little bit of value either now or at some point again. But that wraps up our NFL Pro Set videos. If you watch this one or any of them for that matter, Thank you very much. I very much appreciate that. Let me know what you think of both the set and the video down in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know, once again, any certain players, team, or just any sort of scenario NFL-wise that you do want me to cover in a video coming up here, as well as any other card sets or types of cards that you want me to try and get my hands on for a video. But I hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.